Today's horror manga dub narration is Bug. From the horror anthology 100 Ghost Stories of My Own Death by Mata Nawanji. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, let's get right into Matano Anji's Bug. Our story begins with a young lady at her computer desk. She plugs in a pair of headphones and seems to be concentrating intently. Through the headphones play a voice. There, we have a hit. It's in... this one. And then, just like that, it goes blank. The girl shrieks in frustration and slams the headphones against the floor. For you see, this young lady is a big fan of the super pop star Tukasa, and she really thought this strange method would work this time. In the middle of the night, she runs as fast as she can and rings the doorbell of someone's apartment unit. The door ever so slowly opens and a man's voice answers. Welcome, please come in, Miss Shimizu. She quietly enters into the pitch black room as the door shuts behind her. And then, the lights are on. Already been a week, has it? Eavesdropping. Theft. What kind of tools will you be looking for on this fine day? She answers to him. I need a bug. So I take it the bug I gave you last week didn't quite hit the mark. Yeah, they broke it right away. That makes two gone now. That's so. This could be really tricky then. She looks at him with a puzzled and anxious look. Then he says to her, Must have some kind of device that can detect electronics like our bug. The next one is doomed to be found as well. Uh, but... E even if it's doomed to fail, I, I want to try one more time, please. In that case... Would you happen to know of... Magical tools, miss? M magic? Right this way. He elucidated as he slowly scraped his fingers against the doorway, opening it slowly and announcing the key factor determining the effectiveness of magic tools is based on the user's emotional state. And I would reckon you're in just the right state of mind. He stands there nervously. As long as you pay the price the magic tool requires, they can be extremely effective. Enough so that they ignore all reason. This here is a popular one called the Love Potion. It would make them look exclusively your way but it might be difficult to use it on the recipient in this specific case. She glares around his magic shop, fixated on a particular object, called, that one there is the life knife. Anything you cut with it will keep on living, as if nothing happened. Previous buyers of this item have used it to cut off the head of their cheating lovers and keep it alive so no one else could have them. She stands there thinking for a second and then she says, Um, what about something to eavesdrop with? Hmm. I want to hear what he's saying. The guy I like is a super popular streamer. He belongs to everyone. I could never keep him for myself. 
I want his life to go completely unchanged. The only thing I need is to hear his voice close by, like he's speaking right in my ear. <sighs> I apologize to say this, but we don't carry any magical tools that are made for eavesdropping. The woman stands there, dropping her head, as tears begin to stream down. But then she raises it and says, That life knife you called it, if I use it too. The two of them begin whispering to one another as she discusses her potential plan. He says to her, <laughs> That would certainly be possible. Several days later, Tsukasa, a ton of fan mail came for you. Let's go. Could we stop asking this to be brought to your home? There's been people trying to spy on you. Quit stressing. We ran everything through the metal detector. Oh, this thing's cute. He grasped it in his two hands and carried it over to his nearby desk, placing it next to a potted plant. Yeah, it totally matches the vibes in here. Maybe over here instead. Hmm? How about here? Yes, I can hear him. It's like he's right next to me. He said, as the life knife appeared right on her desk. Where should I put you? Uh, huh? B blood uh. Then, he tipped the stuffed animal over and noticed blood seeping through the bottom. What the? Using a pair of shears, he snipped it open. And what he saw, he couldn't believe his very eyes. Or you see, inside that stuffed animal, was a pair of bloody ears. Ears that belonged to his biggest fan. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus. Motosurf, Cleo, Ace Animus, Ali Way, and Tyranodon Girl One. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a great night, everyone. Goodbye.